In the studio with me is the Acting Chief Commissioner of Police, Ken Lay. Good morning. Good morning, Neil. Would you consider applying for the job? Um, Neil, I've been doing this job now for less than 24 hours. I haven't even thought about it, to be perfectly honest. Um, so my focus is absolutely on uh, reassuring my people, reassuring the community and getting on with the operational business. Um, I can understand that, but it'd be fair to think you'd have to have a think about it at some stage. Um, <laughs> Well, Neil, you and I have spoken about this over the years, and it's a job I've never aspired to. Um, I'll get this piece of work done now over the next two or three months, and we'll see what it looks like. But um, to be absolutely frank with you, um, I haven't turned my mind to it, and I don't propose to for some time. Do you get to wear the epaulets yet? Uh, no. Do you ever no, get I to don't. wear them? You don't? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. Um, do you have any idea how long you'll be acting, Chief? Um, I don't, John. Oh, look, I had a short conversation. Oh, don't you do. Oh, right? Sorry, Neil. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it was Harry Madden did that. To oh, me. dear. <laughs> um, it's one all, actually. I did it over the other side of town not so, so long ago. Um, Neil, um, I spoke with, um, with um, the minister yesterday for a short time. I suspect that the, the search will take um, a few months, so um, that'll firm up in the, in the near future, I guess. Have you, you haven't considered whether you apply for Chief Commissioner, have you considered no. your long-term future in the job? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, you know, I'd, my current appointment is for another three years, so I always thought that that would uh, see me out and I'd uh, um, look at other things, um, as you're aware, that um, in recent times there was some road policing opportunities that I looked at. But uh, again, uh, this is interesting times that uh, this is an organisation I love, I've committed my life to. Um, there is a degree of, um, um, well, the people are unsettled, the community's unsettled, so this is an opportunity for me to um, to uh, try and just steady the ship over the next uh, few months and make sure we get on the on with the business of policing. Those road policing uh, opportunities, that was the Indonesia thing, wasn't it? Um, that was, yeah, one of, one, one of them, yeah. Okay, would you be happy to serve under Sir Ken Jones? Uh, look. Uh, when the, when the position is advertised, uh, I'm, I'm sure Sir Ken will look at and make a decision as to whether he um, whether he applies or not. And I'm sure if um, there is a new chief commissioner, that I'll have discussions with that new chief commissioner about um, where my future might lie. I saw you at the press conference that Simon Overland held yesterday. He, yeah. he seemed emotional, which is understandable. Yeah, very understandable. But you you seem to have a great deal of sympathy for him. Um, look, it's been an interesting two years for Simon in in the job. Um, some of the attacks on him have been withering. Um, it's been constant. Um, but certainly what I've seen of Simon over the last six or seven years, working very closely with him, he's a good and honourable man. He's always had um, the best interests of Victorians at heart, um, the best interests of the organisation at heart. Um, has he make, made mistakes? Um, he's made mistakes just like you have, Neil, just like I have, just like most people have, and I'm sure he'd concede that. So, yeah, look, it was sad. Um, he's, um, there was 20 or 30 of um, senior command um, met with him after his press conference. It was quite emotional. Um, he was, um, people spoke nicely about him. He spoke very nicely to the group. Um, so we wish him well. He's um, obviously got... Um, further careers ahead of him and uh, we all wish him well. Did you think the Ombudsman's report provided a hanging offence? Um, look, I, no I didn't, um, but uh, certainly with my conversations with Simon was he, he understood just how difficult this was for the organisation and the community and... Um, but did the government tell him that his position was untenable? Look, I, I know that he had a conversation with um, uh, Peter Ryan he made it very clear to me that that was a confidential conversation. I know that the ministers said exactly the same thing. So Simon didn't share that with me. What he did share was that um, um, this was very difficult for the organisation. It was very difficult for the community and um, it was in the best interest of everyone that he move on. Do you feel in retrospect that those crime statistics uh, did mislead the public? Um, look, Neil... I, th I think reading the, reading the um, the Ombudsman's report, some people would be concerned. There's no doubt. I think um, Simon concedes that. Um, we need to learn from that. It's been, you know, it's it's a very clear warning to everyone in um, in Victoria Police that they need to be absolutely careful with what they tell the, tell the community and. Were you aware of the, the statistics before they were released at that time? No, no that, was, that was done on the other side of the business, but yeah, as you're aware that uh, Kieran and um, Kieran uh, Walsh and uh, Simon were 
uh, working through that with with our media unit. So no, I wasn't. Um, I certainly became aware of it. Um, yeah, you know, after your after your program, actually, when it, uh, the issue was raised by you. Did it concern you? Um, look, Neil, I think if any any fair minded person reading that um, reading that ombudsman report would say we could have done better. I think Simon understands that. I think the, I think everyone involved with it understands that, and certainly there's some learnings for us that um, um, we need to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, but he did defend it very strongly at the time in the face of evidence to the contrary. Yeah, he did. Um, he did. Um, but now uh, we've got the, we've got the report. Um, certainly, um, I'll, I'll um, look at the recommendations. Uh, the government's al- already committed to uh, an independent body to collect stats. Um, so what do you do when the that. next lot of crime stats come out? Yeah, well, that's a good point. We need to think. We need to think through that very carefully, and um, you know, clearly, um, we need to make sure that there's no doubt in the community's mind, in in media commentators' minds, or in our police members' minds that these are right. Is Kieran Walsh considering resignation? No, certainly not. Um, look, Kieran did get criticised in that report. Um, but in defence of Kieran, I, I see that the criticism was around that he'd seen some data um, a couple of days before the release. But in fairness to Kieran, that data was 600 pages long. Um, to, but he um, had been told the crime was up, and the next thing he's up, yeah, well, I'm not sure. announcing it's down 27.5%, yeah. yeah. and he said. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm not sure of that uh, So you've got full confidence in him? Uh, look, Kier- Kieran is a dedicated career policeman. Um, he understands the Ombudsman's recommendations. I'm sure that he'll take it on board, and um, he's um, he's certainly a valued member of the senior executive and um, has got a lot to offer this state. You mentioned, uh, well, what are your main issues? Is, is it rebuilding uh, faith in the force? Is it rebuilding the confidence of the uh, people in the, in the, in the yeah. divvy van? What is yeah. it? Look, Neil, there's no doubt that there's been um, um, a lack of... Um, well, the, the feedback from the, uh, from the front line is that they just wanted all this stuff to finish. Um, that it was embarrassing for them, it was difficult for them. Um, you know, I'd go to a meeting and, and, and talk to people and all they wanted to talk about was was uh, was this stuff in the newspaper. I'm sure that uh, 13,000 of our members were faced with exactly the same thing. So certainly the message I'm hearing is let's get on with it. You know, we've got a community to protect, we've got a job to do, um, let's go forward and, and do that. So certainly that's a focus. We've got Lots of issues are in around public transport, public order, and violence, and organised crime, and road policing, and the like. So, plenty of work to do. 